what is better than installing some operating system on some some laptop or tablet while having dinner nothing better than that right so let's do it I have here beside me I have this median laptop it was running Windows 10 and now we're gonna install something else we're gonna install Linux on this thing and I created a Linux bootable disk and here we will go boot from generic disk and then we will say start Linux Mint and when this is started I will get back to you okay it's booting and uh, it's looking good we will see if the desktop will uh, come up and if we will have a working system uh, of course we will install this to the median laptop it's the 1210 the e1210 it's the Akoja this so it's a real nice little old netbook okay and you can see not even five minutes later Linux Mint is started up but do we have Wi-Fi yep we have Wi-Fi the Ralink uh, Wi-Fi uh, has been found and everything is uh, running and up so let's go ahead and install it we're just gonna hit the install icon on the desktop and everything will go automatically of course it's uh, really nice if you connect your Wi-Fi so you can also get some updates so connect to the Wi-Fi there we go and we're gonna connect to Wi-Fi it's connecting there boom connected as you can see we will install of course English I'm not sure if you install English if you then can still go to another language but we'll see about that I'm not gonna install Dutch man just English you know so Windows 10 was running really good on this machine by the way so it's really worth it to uh, try it out but I like to uh, install and as you can see you cannot uh, install Linux Mint beside Windows 10 so I will have to erase the disk to make it uh, workable so that's what we're gonna do it will erase the disk and we will have to insert some credentials continue the disk is being erased Windows 10 is being wiped and Linux Mint is being installed so the rest of the process will be like uh, tell them where you're from I selected English but they still know that I'm in Holland that's because of my Wi-Fi so that's really smart there up here of course we will choose English US keyboard international with dead keys and this we will call top and let's put a password and hold on let's do that real fast again I'm inserting an easy password because no need to protect this thing like if it's gold. So everybody can, you know, that comes to my house knows. Oh no, 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 I want to go back. Log me in automatically. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, never mind. So it's gonna install now, and whenever it uh, boots up, I will have to insert my password. And after the installing, we can continue testing or we can restart the baby now. Let's restart her. So now we have a Linux, Mint Linux laptop, and we're gonna pimp this a little bit. So, um, yeah, in my next video about this median laptop. 
we gonna show you I'm gonna show you how to pimp it and how to get certain apps first I will have to get a screen capture uh, program out of the app store of mint Linux Linux mint and then of course we will um, here we have to remove the installation media and we just hit enter and now the system will reboot and now on the 160 gigabyte hard drive mint Linux mint is installed version 17.1 with a mate desktop and this is a real-time boot that you're looking at it's a very fine little machine the medium I'm not uh, sorry that I traded my 3GS to this uh, little uh, device it's very good and the battery life is also fantastic installing went uh, real fast it runs Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows XP so there we go we have to log in and this is the first time the very first time boot so this might take just slightly longer but the system is still like setting everything the way it should be it has been just installed there you go okay there we go we're logged in and if you forgot your login name it will be in the screen behind the login so it looks like a password box is popping up but in fact it's a login box it will first ask for your login name and you will be like what is my login name but you will see it there at the back and the login name of this machine was top T -O -P. so now it's installed as you can see um, Linux Mint really nice also uh, looks really good works fantastic let's uh, change the background let me show you it takes a second to load the backgrounds that's always the case and this is also showing up Opa. and I choose for mate because mate is the most compatible with uh, with changing like changing this orb you know getting uh, stuff like um, yeah apps a dock etc we can all get from all the app store that's really fantastic here you can see that uh, it takes a little long to load the backgrounds so we can also forget about it for now it always takes long I'm not sure if it has to download the, the backgrounds or so no idea but it always takes long to show the backgrounds the whole thing in fact is stopping up so I'm not gonna look at it because it's already you know, pissing me off now force quit go away I don't know why backgrounds take so long to load for the rest it's a pretty good uh, operating system here you can see the software manager this will let us get all sorts of apps by the way um, everything takes a little longer because at this point it's also now uh, kind of updating here you will see in the corner if I can see my mouse there it is in the corner you see here you can get like updates and if you run these updates you will get like 250 updates and then you can update them and then you will have a great working mint Linux netbook so peeps thanks again for watching i hope this was uh, nice and if you like this video of course subscribe like and the next video bye